Tesla is on a dramatic, dramatic trajectory to change transport forever. And the key for doing that is the introduction of autonomous transportation of robo taxis, of cars that drive themselves. And I covered that a little bit more in depth a few days ago, where I talked about the exact trajectory of the robo taxi expansion, of the expansion of this dramatic and exciting new technology. Today, we are going to dive a little deeper into the one factor that I think gives us insight behind the scenes, insight into the real mind of Elon and Tesla leadership in a way that allows us to project a much more reliable trajectory for the robo taxi expansion. And that is the cyber cap. Now, the cyber cap, as you probably all know, is a special vehicle that Tesla is developing. And that special vehicle, is something that allows Tesla to basically have a car that is very affordable to produce, that is very scalable, and that is designed only for transporting people around. And the special thing about that vehicle is, and that is the key, that is the key that helps us to understand what Tesla is all about and what is this up to. That vehicle can only be produced in order to be used as a robo taxi because it has no steering wheel. Or if it does, and we'll go into that in a second, if it does have a steering wheel, it has only a steering wheel for regulatory reasons. And by understanding what Tesla is exactly preparing on the capital expenditure side and on ramping up that production for that car, we can determine what the true insider information is on the Tesla side. We can triangulate that information how good the actual self-driving technology is at any given point. Because if Tesla scales this as it plans to do, it can only do so if it has complete confidence into the exact point in time when it can actually start scaling it. Because if you produce all these cyber caps, you can only do so if you actually are ready to roll it out. So we are going to go now into the question when that exactly is planned, and I gave you here a little insight into the interior of the cyber cab. Look at this. So this is the car that's being planned and that's being produced starting in Q2 of next year. That is what Elon said in an interview. So look at this and then think about it. I wanted you to see this because if you see that cabin, that is literally the two front seats or sofa, whatever you call this thing. And that is the cyber. Cap. And if you start the production line of this thing and spend billions and billions of dollars now as we speak and thousands of engineers in ramping this up as a very, very seasoned professional company like Tesla with the goal to have this whole thing online live, the production line, the mass production of this vehicle in Q2 of next year. And Elon says that. And he can only say that if it's already in the middle of the preparation, investment, build out of the factory and all these things. So this cannot be fantasy. This is guaranteed, 100% guaranteed with no possible error that this is full-fledged ongoing with billions spent, the manufacturing. And so if you ramp all this up and do all the supplier contracts and everything, there is no way that you cannot start producing this. That would be the greatest disaster in the history of Tesla. And they're not going to risk that. <clears throat> hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. So you understand if you want to launch this and you get tens of thousands of these things out next year, you have to have complete confidence that the technology actually works. And you would only do that if you had the complete confidence. And that allows us to understand what is actually going on. So here is a tweet uh, of uh, Soya Merit, one of the great Tesla tweeters, and uh, he basically reports what I also told you, that uh, Elon Musk actually confirmed around Halloween, around Friday, the 31st of October, so not long ago, uh, that Elon actually confirmed this is going into mass production in Q2 2026, without, and Elon said this explicitly, without a steering wheel or paddles. Now we will get into this in a second and I will have a full on separate video on this topic because it's one of the most interesting topics. You can also see, by the way, if you're an insider, Fazad saying for now, because uh, you know Fazad already celebrated before that Robin Denholm, the board member of Tesla confirmed that Tesla will put in a steering wheel if necessary. But then Elon said, no, 
We will resolve that question because it's connected to the cyber cap scaling question, but in a different video. So that's what Soya Merit says, which is very interesting. And we also saw already here that the cyber cap has been spotted uh, in the wild. I can actually open this. Let's see if we can find this. Uh, that the cyber cap has been spotted in the wild. For some reason, this thing is not reacting, but it's here. And uh, so you see that this is actually happening. This is the real cyber cap in and in and out drive through, as you can see with this little guy. Here is the prototype, right? The hand built kind of prototype. So if you look at that one, interesting, right? This was how it was presented when they had only manually built 10. This is the current version. And you see, this is already ready for serial production. You see the headlights, very different. These look like real headlights. The tires are a little different, more pragmatic. You see, these are regular tires, not these weird ones. That also looks a little bit, the hub looks more like something you could actually build. Very funny Tesla put this guy in, which is not a guy, and then someone who's actually sitting next to the safety driver. So this is probably a fake guy. Um, very funny. And so very exciting. So these things start to actually drive around, which is just another confirmation point that these things are in the middle of being prepared of true for true scale and production. And in the previous video, I covered a little bit uh, how I covered a little bit how the FSD readiness actually looks like and that the FSD readiness on the technology level, when you look at Robotaxi and the reports from people, version 13 and 14, that they're also on track, right? We see Herbert Ong, for example, reported, well, not didn't report, he told me personally that he is now six months intervention-free, six months in his own personal Model Y. He drives around with FSD, not touching the wheel or touching the wheel, not using it for six months now, six months, you know, that's 180 days, intervention-free, which is probably 30, 40,000 miles with a, not a single intervention. So we get a lot of reports from users. FSD has crossed the Rubicon. FSD is now ready to scale. Now it's complicated. They're probably ironing out the edge cases and so on and so forth. But it's very clear we have crossed the Rubicon and Tesla has cracked the nut of autonomous technology. And I like it that we have a little bit more time. So we are all very confident now that they have cracked the nut. It's now November, 2025. They have another, in my opinion, six months, roughly, before CyberCap goes life <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> and sorry into serial production so this all lines up very nicely the hardware preparation gives us confidence that this is happening the technology on the ai and software side tells us okay we already crossed the rubicon from here it's just fine tuning we also have news that the safety drivers in the current model y robo taxis and austin will be removed in december at least some of them elon confirmed that and so what is the bottom line of all of this? It is here. I think this is what's going to happen. And I mentioned that in the previous video, but I want to clarify this again for everyone. So I think the real scaling, and this is very important for the stock, the real scaling looks like this. Let me format this for you guys. The real scaling looks like this. Now in Q4 2025, that is now, we will get to eight probably maybe already 10 metro areas confirmed by Elon. That is my original seeding strategy where I said they will first go broad, have very few robo taxis in these metro areas. But Elon also mentioned that they will have a thousand robo taxis, 1,500 robo taxis in total in the Bay Area and in Austin end of this year. That is very soon. But then the next two months, they will get to 1,500. I think they will not drive many miles per day. But 1500 is a very significant number. So I think latest in Q1 2026. So that is in probably three months, <clears throat> three to four months. Tesla will already reach 30 million people in 10 US metro areas. The Bay Area 7 million, Austin 1 million, probably LA. That's another 10 million, <clears throat> 6 million, whatever it exactly is, depending how you define it. Uh, Phoenix is coming, Florida is coming. So you, there will be over 30 million people serviced by RoboTaxi, you know? And that is important because that tells you you can scale the heck out of this. If you're in 10 metro areas, if you're at 20 metro areas, end of the year, you can easily deploy that number of cyber caps. Now, the important thing is, and that is the new information here that's very important. <clears throat> I already predicted 
with a certain level of confidence that is now higher, I predicted we will cross the 2000 RoboTaxi deployed point in time in May of next year. And with 2000, I mean 2000 full, fully deployed equivalents. And that means 200 miles a day commercially driven. So that could also mean 4,000 RoboTaxis if they only are utilized at 100 miles, right? So I mean 2,000 fully 200 mile equivalent RoboTaxis. So what is new now? What is new now is very important. What is new now is because of the cyber cap timeline that we see, I am willing to confirm my original targets <clears throat> for the second half of 2026 and have a higher certainty about that. And that means the real scale comes in when cyber cap goes into production. And if Elon says Q2, then it's latest early Q4. They cannot be delayed more because now you have an enormous CapEx forcing function on Tesla. You cannot delay this more. So I think Q2 is the target. I think most likely end of Q3, this really starts mid of Q3. But that means they're ending up with 40,000 cyber caps next year. And that is very important because it's very simple. If that is true, if this year comes true, and now we have reasoned pretty, I think effectively that this is very likely to be true. This stock is massively, massively undervalued. Because of that is true, the stock, here comes my prediction, we will have a separate video on the exact details, will be vastly above a thousand. And right now it's at 500 roughly. So <clears throat> I think if this happens, it might even go to 2000. And we'll cover this in a different video why and what that would mean for the stock traders if we are ending up at 2000, end of 2026. But I tell you guys, if this happens, if they're deploying 40,000 cyber caps plus 5,000 model buys or something, mm, we live in a different world. So that is the bottom line of this video. I wanted to focus in and explain that these, the first half of 2026 now is very clear. We get to 2000 RoboTaxis in Q2, 2000 full RoboTaxi equivalents. That means the forcing function is in full swing. But now it is very clear the cyber cap is going to scale and it's very clear that if that happens, we are ending up with 40,000 cyber caps. This is a specific number. Some people say it's 100,000. Forget it. They're not going to ramp this much. If you look into what happens and if you assume mid to end Q3, this actually starts to really happen, then you're getting quickly into 1,000 cyber caps a week and then you're getting exactly to that <clears throat> number, 1,000, and you get to 2,000 and 3,000 a week. That's how a ramp looks like. Then we are off to the races for hundreds of thousands the year after in 2028, of course. But that's the important thing because that is the forcing function kickoff. Here we are talking about 6-7% of free cash flow annualized added to Tesla. And here you're talking about doubling the entire free cash flow of Tesla Corporation. Doubling. But you're also talking about then being on a trajectory of tripling, quadrupling, quintupling it very, very quickly by 2028. That is why this is the all decisive thing. That's why we have to learn the most from cyber cap hardware scaling production plans. Now we know them. And that gives me high confidence that this is going to happen. And no one on Wall Street understands this. And that is our opportunity to generate massive alpha and zero in on the timing window. 2026. I hope that was helpful. We have a bunch of other videos. Check them out. Some coming up, some already out, some of them referring exactly to the stock price strategy here and some others on the FSD scaling strategy. I hope that was interesting and see you very soon.